The Radio Waymo Breakfast. Kiwi. Well, last night at a ceremony in Auckland, the winner, um, or various winners actually of various categories, but an overall winner for New Zealand Music Manager of the Year was announced. Now, managers, of course, are people who have a, a bunch of artists under them, maybe even want just one artist under them, but they help them along through the industry Get them the gigs, get them the the, the, the radio interviews, the TV spots, uh, make sure that the advertising is out there. They do all sorts of things because uh, basically musicians can't manage themselves, generally, um, so they require someone else to do it for them. Um, there were a whole bunch of categories, you know, uh, South Island Manager of the Year, um, Self-Managed Artist, so that does happen, Regional Manager of the Year for the North Island as well, and Upcoming Manager of the Year. I have the winner of the overall... Music Manager of the Year. It was Matt Coleman. Good morning to you, Matt. Good morning, Glenn. How are you? I am very well. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, it's been a real busy year, actually, with um, in the middle of Music Month as well, which is all very busy all time. Excited, you know, for a reason I would imagine. Yeah. Now you manage a bunch of artists, including Midnight You, Dane Rumble, Ivy Lies, Stereogram, Lisa Crawley, Artisan Guns, and uh, and Johnny Love. In That's fa- right. In fact, no doubt yeah. we've already dealt with you this this month here at Kiwi in getting uh, Lisa Crawley onto 31 Bands in a Box, Arts and Guns, I know, also coming up as well, um, amongst others. So um, so you're already doing, you're obviously doing your job very well. Well, look, it, it, to be honest, it all started off a, a few years ago when I, you know, went out to see, actually, Midnight Youth play live. Yeah. And, um, you know, I actually just gave them a bit of a helping hand with a couple of gigs and... Um, I ended up getting a, them a support for Incubus and the band OK Go. And uh, and then I thought, well, hang on, these new songs of theirs are absolutely fantastic. Um, I've got to get them in front of a record label. Um, I do have a record label background, so um, I phoned up uh, the Warner guys in Australia and I actually asked the New Zealand team and the Australian team to get over here. Yeah. And they offered them a five-album deal, and that's what's really kicked everything off. Um, and everything's just progressed from there. So one thing you obviously need is, is a good ear um, to to pick an artist that um, that you think is actually going to go somewhere. Yeah, I think I think that's critical. Um, but as you know, there's all sorts of genres of music that sell now, uh, more so than than just you know the rock and pop side. Yeah. And you know, a lot of the artists actually you know have that mentality. Well, you know, you can do it yourself. And, you know, you can do it on your own label as well. I mean, Dane Rumble actually started his own record company, um, and it's actually through his label, but it's it's distributed through one of the major labels. Um, so you can, you know, you can do it in various various ways, I think, these days. Um, w- would you say you need um, to have patience to, to deal with musicians? Um, to a degree, I think. Um, yeah, look, it's a, it's a, it, it can be a hard and it can be a fast industry for for certain acts. Mm. And I think, you know, as long as you're true to yourself in terms of you know you're just getting out there and touring and writing good music the best you can, um, and get you know the most important thing is to get your music out there, and that's what the manager does. But is it for you. is it is it a hard graft being a music manager in New Zealand, being such a small industry? Yeah, look, I think it is. Um, that's why I manage a number of different artists. Mm. Uh, because, you know, s- some of the acts, you know, like, for example, Johnny Love, he's actually in England recording an album at the moment. And, you know, he won't be releasing anything for another few months. Yeah. So there's a, obviously he's had a break as well. So, you know, in the meantime, I'm working on another project and, and getting two or three other projects off the ground. So I have, like, a complete range of up-and-coming artists to, you know, artists that have broken through and won music awards. So, you know, I think I'm keeping, you know, a healthy balance in in that respect and trying to help new young artists to come through and, and try and make a living from this, you know, and and also trying to get their music exposed internationally, you know, is, is another objective of mine, particularly in Australia. Yeah. Um, and, you know, look, a lot of the money from all these artists um, that I've seen in the last few years are coming from touring. You know, that's that's really where the money is in publishing. Um, you know, depending on how much money you spend on your your album marketing, 
um, is how much money you'll end up making on your album. And there's been many films made about the relationship between bands or artists and their managers, and often the manager can get a bit of a, a bad rep in some of these films for either taking more more than their fair share of the money, or um, or, or you know, or not performing up to scratch, or the artist um, just goes out of control. Um, have, have you lived any of those rock and roll dreams? <laughs> I suppose you could call them. Well, no, I haven't put myself in, into a spinal tap situation. <laughs> Thank God. Actually. What about a, you know, a hotel room? That Look, the band's gone crazy on drugs. The, the TV's about to go out the window. You're trying to keep control of the situation. Been, been, have you been there yet? <laughs> um, oh, look, I guess over the years, I used to work for Warners, so I know the feelers threw a TV out the window at one stage, I think. <laughs> of course they did. <laughs> and, but, um, oh, look, I mean, look, there's a couple of bands that have been accused, you know, of trashing hotel rooms and things like that, and, you know, I've had reporters on my back about it, and, <laughs> but, you know, I don't really know how how true all the stories are, and I think they, some of them are a bit stretched, to be honest. Yeah. So, no, I haven't. <laughs> well, congratulations for taking... Maybe I've been lucky there. Yeah, yeah, perhaps so, or maybe, or maybe it's yet to come. Um Congratulations for winning the overall manager of the year and, of course, for the regional uh, North Island category as well. Well done. Yeah, I think well, just one thing I should note is that we are now setting up a service to get New Zealand music across the globe, um, which we're launching in the next month or two through through the company's website. So um, yeah, if any new bands are wanting to get their music out there, you know. How, how do people um, get involved with that? Uh, they just they, they can just send me an email through letthepeoplespeak.tv is the website. Yep. Um, and uh, if they're interested, you know, we can um, we'll follow it up from there. Great. You'll have the best manager in the country on the case. Thanks, Matt. No worries. Thanks we, very much. We appreciate it. Matt Coleman, who took out the Music Manager of the Year for the New Zealand Music Managers Awards. Um, Let the people speak. Midnight Youth, Dane Rumble, Ivy Lie, Stereogram, Lisa Crawley, Johnny Love, and this outfit here, Artisan Guns. And this is their track, The Ballads of the Red Man. Skiwi.